Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to use NX Theme Installer. So to start off with, you're obviously going to need a switch running custom firmware, PC, laptop and a USB-C cable or SD card reader, anything that you use for transferring files. There's also errors to watch out for. Please pause at this screen. So we'll start out on the PC. We'll head over to this GitHub site. I'll have this down in the description below. I'm going to get the first download nxthemeinstaller.nro and also we want to head over to this theme site this provides most of the themes for the app choose whichever one you desire I'm just going to choose this one for an example I just want to drag them to the desktop and if we load up your switches SD card We want to drag the NX theme installer into the switch folder on the root of your SD card. As you can see here. Then we want to unzip the theme. But first, if we go back to the root of your SD card and create a new folder called themes. And we want to just drag the themes into the folder. You can create another folder inside the themes if you want to keep it nice and tidy. Tell it to yourself. Right. Now well, that's done, you can exit out of your SD card and inject. And then we'll head over to the switch shortly. So now that we're at our switch, if we load into our homebrew menu, it's entirely up to yourself. This theme's app works better if you're not in applet mode, but just for this purpose, I'm going to run it in applet mode. And if we open up our themes, and first off, this will prompt you if it's brand new for you installing and it will tell you to extract your home menu. And that's the first thing you need to do. Um, and also, if you are planning on updating your switch at any point whilst you have a theme installed, please make sure you uninstall that theme. So if we just go over to the theme we installed, we'll start applying each bit. Or even whichever bit you want, you can do separate bits if you don't want to use the entire theme. And now if we reboot our console from the app itself. As you can see, it's changed how many icons we can have and your homebrew menu has its own icon. And there we go. That's it for the tutorial. Um, if you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe and maybe leave a comment. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.